After you've assembled your machine, turn it on and make sure the probe cycles. If the probe flashes when you turn it on, it may be too close to the bed. You can auto home to reset the probe. If the probe is flashing and it did not contact anything, contact your seller. If you bought from us, get in touch. We've spent some time developing the firmware so that it can store the values after probing. Find your way to the commissioning menu and run the bilinear setup. This will perform the probing of the bed after which you will set the Z offset. Aside from the speed, the probing should look like this. If for any reason the printhead is off the bed or running up against one side, then you may have an end stop unplugged. After probing is complete, find your way to prep for Z adjust. This will confirm that the bed and nozzle are to temperature, then park the nozzle at Z0. Place a piece of paper under the nozzle to get ready. Once the printhead is stopped moving, navigate to Probe Z Offset. You can find this through the configuration menu, then through advanced settings, and it'll be second from the top. You'll be able to hear it move as you turn the dial. If not, stop and repeat Prep for Z Adjust. There's a timeout between the last move and when you'll be able to actually move the z-axis. Once you feel tight drag, be sure to store settings. See the optional filament sensor and see me CNC Easy R Schroeder. Select a print from the SD card and get ready to set your Z offset for the final time. If you use one of our profiles, we program a wipe line in so that gives us time to set the Z offset. Press and hold the knob or double tap to bring it up and watch the filament as it comes out. Get the best squish and let it eat. Clockwise moves the nozzle up, counterclockwise moves it down. After you've adjusted the probe Z offset, you can navigate to the store settings function and next time you shouldn't have to adjust anything.